I just saw a comment in one of my videos that just cracks me up. The YouTube user Bradford1966 has suggested that behind this curtain, there's a city street. That just cracks me up. Also, YouTube user MAJC number two has raised a excellent question in one of the vi in the same video uh, comment section. Considering hydrodynamic uh, energy and wind energy and solar energy and steam energy, why are those not considered free energy? Free energy, the phrase, is used in two different ways. Among the free energy cultists, free energy means when you put energy into a device and more energy comes out that goes in, that is free energy. That is, of course, impossible. Other use for the phrase free energy is energy that you generally do not have to pay outright for. You know, you don't pay the oil company or the electricity company or the coal supplier or the fuel oil supplier. You don't pay for the energy outright, but you do pay. Solar power is not free. Wind power is not free. Steam and water power is not free. In fact, it is extremely expensive. Photovoltaic uh, solar panels are extremely expensive. Mounting them, wiring them to code, hooking up and uh, purchasing a charge controller so you don't fry your batteries, uh, electrical storage itself in the form of batteries, and shelter for all this equipment, all of that costs a lot of money. By the time you uh, save enough money by converting uh, photons into electrons, it could take you five years, six years, even ten years to save enough money for the whole system to pay for itself. That could be solar, it could be wind, it could be water, it could even be steam. All of that costs money to convert that energy into electricity. By the time it pays for itself, you have to replace parts. Batteries wear out. Uh, wiring could last 30 or 40 years. But there are weathering considerations in such things as mounting equipment on a roof, such as the uh, photo panels, all sorts of maintenance shit that you have to do. Charge controllers often burn out. Uh, just yesterday, I was wiring up three photovoltaic panels on a little guest house here at the ranch, and I wired the red wire to the yellow wire by mistake. The charge controller caught on fire. And the cowboy inside the little guest house, who was looking at the meter waiting for 13 volts to show up, yelled through the window, Hey! We're on fire in here! Disconnect it! So I yanked the wire off and I went into the little guest house and there was a blazing fire in the uh, charge controller device and black soot filled up the entire uh, guest house. So whatever you do, don't connect the battery to the yellow wire. My point is, it costs a hell of a lot of money. A great deal of money. If you want to run, I don't know, a washing machine or a television or a microwave, you need a hell of a lot of battery storage. You need a power inverter at least 2,000 watts, probably more if you've got a bigger load. You will need at least, let us say, 20 photovoltaic panels just to get enough energy for modern city usage. You know, if you want to run television or uh, like I said, microwave, or the blender, or the Quasinart, or food processor, your computers, your hair dryer. You need a shitload of solar panels. You need a shitload of batteries. Same is true for wind. You need a great, big, huge, honking 
windmill to get the uh, enough electricity to run what people usually expect when they live in a city. It just cost a hell of a lot of money. The only reason people like here at the ranch get their power from solar panels is because there's no electricity service out here way out in the middle of the wilderness. It would be less expensive for us to buy electricity from the electric company than for us to make it out here using sunlight and batteries and charge controller and inverter bank and all that shit. Free energy? No, I'm sorry, there is no such thing. There very likely never will be.